In this video, I'm going to be demonstrating how we suggest that provincial infrastructure projects from the IRM database should be shown on Buleka Mali, and specifically what information will be shown. Um, the design can still be tweaked, um, but right now we are just making sure that the information is being presented correctly and fairly. Um, this page is the infrastructure project search page um, where you can search and explore all the projects around the country. Um, then there is a project detail page that shows the details about a specific project. Now you can go to the search page from the, the main menu on the Vilekamali site or from a department page um, where you will see a list of the biggest projects and click through to the project detail page or you can say you want to search you want to see all the projects for this department and for example the Eastern Cape Department of Education and that will show you the uh, and that will take you to this page where it's been filtered to select the, the Department of Education. Um, this showing basic education is wrong, it's just for the demo. Um, and the province will be filtered to Eastern Cape. So if you're on the search page, you can, for example, search for school or for ECD uh, or for road. And the list of total pro projects, the number of total projects will update to show only those matching what you've searched and the total project cost, the estimated total project cost will also update. And this chart um, is intended to show the number of projects that match your search criteria at a particular status. So this will show, for example, um, a few hundred projects in the planning stage, um, a few in the design stage, a few in the tender stage, and in, in, um, in uh, construction, 10%, 25%, and so on. And these tooltips, like this one, should also, also say what the status is of each bar uh, and what the number of projects is. Um, you can filter by the province, the department in that province, the uh, status, and the funding source. For example, a project funded by a specific grant or by equitable share. As you adjust these criteria, like I said, these numbers and the chart will, it will update to, sh to, to reflect the, the projects that matched. Also on the map, the map right now just shows a, a clean map, but it will show the number of projects in each area matching that, uh, that search. And this project list will update to show only the projects matching that. This list is very important because not all the projects have coordinates. So you can also see the, um, the projects that don't have coordinates here in this list. And the list helps you quickly pick a project by its name. Uh, you can order by the, the project name alphabetically or by the completion date, by the status or by the estimated total project cost. Obviously, this is just um, an example that's been copied. If you click one of these projects, you will go over to the project detail page. This example is for uh, a school in the Eastern Cape. And the one map is intended to show the detail of precisely where that project is and using its coordinates. And the other map provides you with the, the regional context. So you can see that the project is um, in a specific municipality, in a specific district, in a specific province. Um, so the one is more about the project and the one is more about the region. Um, then you can see the, the estimated total project cost, the funding source, whether it's a, a, um, an upgrade or a new build, um, whether it was um, tabled in the budget or if it came after the budget was tabled. Um, you can see the department administering the, the, the project, whose project is it, and the, the budget program that that's happening under, the project status, and the project number. 
The project number, while it is quite technical, it's important to have that here because uh, sometimes a project name might be a bit ambiguous. Um, there might be two or three different projects happening at a certain school and you want to be able to refer to a specific project, especially when you're looking at a specific contract for, for a project or looking at tender information and so on. The general public don't need this so much, but researchers critically do. Um, the location information is also helpful. And then you can see uh, who's responsible for different parts of implementation. Um, these are not always available. Um, in this case, you can see the implementing agent, the principal agent, the main contractor has not been listed, but um, other service providers have been provided. In another example, you can see that most of the implementation information is not available. And that's quite commonly the case. Next, we show the, the project budget information. And we first outline just the facts, organized in a way that we think makes sense. First, the total estimated project cost, and then the construction cost and the professional fees components of that. Then the spending to date, um, the current budget, original budget, um, and the adjustment budget. Um, below that is a chart um, showing this in a more visual way. Um, the diagonal line shows quarterly spend in this year. Um, that is cumulative, so each quarter it just goes up by the amount that was spent. Um, from the total that was spent before. The dotted line shows the estimated total project cost. Now, it probably won't change this frequently, but you might, at the beginning of the project, estimate that it will have a certain cost, but towards the end of the project, it might step up to, to reflect when the, the actual cost has been better understood. Um, and this helps people to understand how the, the cost of things change and, and when that is um, recorded in the project documentation. This chart will also show the, the points in time uh, where uh, that fit onto the, um, the area in time that for, for which we have financial information. So in this case, for example, um, you can see the, the estimated construction start date and the estimated construction end date. Now, obviously, this won't be so close together normally, but um, it's, um, it's just here to show what kind of information can be shown and how. And at the top of the chart, we will show the, the project status, so you can see how the status progresses over time. Um, this is not connected to any data right now. This is just an image, but... Um, once everything has been approved, we will implement this. Um, but you can see the rest of the data is specific to a project uh, with real data uh, from IRM right now. And after the, the budget and spending chart, you can see the project um, timeline with the, the dates that things are expected to start and finish. Um, Again, just listing out the facts and then on a, on a timeline so you can get a, a better sense of it visually. The, uh, for each chart, you're able to, to download the data that was used to produce that chart. Now, in this case, um, we just use estimates of national expenditure as an example. This data doesn't actually come from the estimates of national expenditure. Um, this is just for the demonstration. In reality, this will say something like, um, provincial infrastructure project snapshot 2019 Q1, 2019 Q2, 2019 Q3, and so on. Um, so you can download the data and then you can download the, an image um, for a particular project so you can use that in presentations or, um, or something like that. The reason it's laid out uh, both in the graphical way and with the, the numbers just like this, almost in a table, is uh, people often want to, to print these, these pages out to take it to a meeting or something like that. And then it's helpful to have it just stated out 
uh, quite simply. Um, so this is available on irmdemo.bilakamale.gov.za for now. Um, if you want to look at these projects until we've finished implementing this, um, this search page, there is a uh, just a list of uh, a, a number of projects to to see what it's going to look like with real project data um, but it's going to look more like the the, the search page shown here uh, when when that's done